Hello, my name is Colby Sharp, and I am a lover of middle grade fiction. I love books written for those middle grade readers at fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade age. Those are the books that I've seen so many kids fall in love with reading, reading those books and experiencing those books. And I just read Abby Tried and True by Donna Gephardt. And it is just everything that one loves in a middle grade novel. It is a story about this amazing girl named Abby who lives with her two moms and her brother. Her best friend lives across the street. They are so tight. Uh, and the story opens with her best friend Kat moving to Israel because uh, her mother is, I believe, a professor there. And it's heartbreaking. It just destroys her. It's so hard. She's uh, an introvert. Uh, she's pretty quiet. She just wants to like hang out at home and play Monopoly with her brother. And she's just really not, not going to do well with uh, her best friend um, who lived across the street moving away. And towards the end of summer, before she's about to head back to school without her friend, it, she learns, her family learns, that her brother uh, has testicular cancer and it rocks her world. And she is heartbroken, devastated, uh, fearing the worst. Um, it's, it's really, really just hard for her. And then a new family moves in across the street and there's this boy who lives there with his mom named Conrad. And Conrad and Abby actually become really good friends and, and develop some feelings for each other. And just watching Abby navigate life, watching her deal with her brother struggling with you know, having cancer and her friend being across the planet and watching her like come into her own skin and figure out who she is. It's just what makes middle grade so special. Like I just picture kids around the world sitting in, in their room, bedroom, sitting on a chair in the living room, sitting on a park bench, sitting in a classroom, sitting in a library, reading this book and falling in love with these characters and, and learning more about themselves. It truly is just what makes middle grade beautiful, like the characters and the character growth and uh, just the immense feelings you have as you're reading this, rooting for Abby, rooting for her to succeed, rooting for things to be okay. It's just phenomenal. The heater in my classroom just turned on. I hope that sound is not too annoying. Uh, one of the things that I also loved about this book is, is Abby has two moms and it's like not a big deal. It's just her reality. Uh, I love that that's becoming more of a normal thing in children's literature. Like a character having two mothers is not the major plot point of the book. It is just life. And she's got two wonderful moms. It's a great book. You should read it. You should buy it. You should check it out from the library. You should do whatever it is that you can do to get Abby tried and true into the hands of all of the young readers in your life. I won't let you down. I promise this is great. You will love it. Down to get parts, Abby tried and true. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.